It's easy to imagine that this icy world, this Arctic-like world, can only be found in the furthest reaches of the world's most remote mountain ranges. But no, these spectacular mountainscapes and the special wildlife they support are here in Scotland, northeast Scotland. Stretching beyond each horizon, these mountains sit just a few miles above the bustling towns and cities of Aberdeenshire and Moray. Surprisingly, perhaps, four of the UK's five highest mountains are found in this corner of Scotland. These mountains spawn the tumbling, glistening, life-supporting waters of the River Spey, North Esk and Dee, which rush through upland moors, home to red deer, golden eagle and black grouse, into some of the last remnants of Scotland's Caledonian pine forest. These forests are havens for some of our most spectacular wildlife. Red squirrels are safe here, free from the threat of invasive grey squirrels, which have decimated populations elsewhere. Pine martens have found their way back into these forests after decades of absence, and capercaillie, the world's largest grouse and one of Britain's rarest birds, retains a precarious toehold in these forests of the northeast. Across fertile farmland, the rivers Deverin and Ithan join at a more leisurely pace, creating rich wetlands before winding through our towns and cities. You might imagine that the city is no place for wildness, but you'd be wrong. Aberdeen might be known as the Granite City, but standing on two rivers, it's becoming the Green City. As the D winds past bustling office blocks and below busy roads, it finally reaches the end of its journey and meets the North Sea. Here, there's a surprise in store. Bottlenose dolphins. These dolphins often visit Aberdeen Harbour, but can be seen all along this coast to Spey Bay. They are the North Sea's only resident pod and are the largest bottlenoses in the world. The seas of northeast Scotland are rich in life, and much of the coastline is protected because of that. Wintering geese feed on local farmland and estuaries. Grey seals haul out on sandbanks, and a wide range of ducks and wading birds take advantage of the rich pickings as the tides ebb and flow. But it's in summer when this spectacular coastline really comes to life. Towering seabird cities are formed almost overnight as kittiwakes, guillemots, razorbills, fulmars, gannets and puffins all return to raise their young. These cliffs are thick with birds, some nesting on a stony ledge just a few centimetres across. These birds all rely on food from our oceans their success is entirely dependent on a complex and fragile food web which drives the health of our seas. Right at the top of that food web is one of the world's largest living mammals and one that is visiting our coastline more and more frequently. The humpback whale. Where in the world could you spend a morning on an ice-bound Arctic plateau and by the afternoon be watching dolphins and whales? Where but in the northeast of Scotland? Our rivers are havens for salmon, mussels, otters and eels. They are arteries that carry life from the Grampian Mountains all the way to the sea and along the way, their pure, life-rich waters provide opportunity for people as well as wildlife. Our forests are not only wildlife sanctuaries, they provide us with fuel and building materials, they clean our air, they store carbon, they're an outdoor classroom, a green gem. Out there we feel glad to be alive. Our mountains trap and clean our water, 
and provide us with space to unwind. They're a refuge. And our seas are not only home to puffins, gannets, dolphins and humpback whales. They provide us with food and regulate our climates. We might think we're pretty smart and that we don't need nature, but we do. Our very existence relies on the many services that nature provides. Healthy nature equals healthy people. With six national nature reserves, 86 sites of special scientific interest, some of the last remnants of the Caledonian pine forest, and a coastline of international importance for seabirds, the northeast of Scotland is a rich mosaic of life, home to a surprising cast of creatures. From gardens, parks, and urban areas, across the most fertile of farmland, to wildflower meadows, woodland and up to the highest and most expansive montane habitat in the United Kingdom. A rich variety of species thrive in the Grampian region. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of landowners, conservation groups and individuals, wildlife across Aberdeenshire and Moray is flourishing. But of course, we can't take that for granted. The natural world faces many challenges and we can all do, must do, our bit to help. From creating a pond in your garden or planting wildflowers to encourage insects, to helping plant trees on denuded moorland or removing litter from our seashores, a little bit of effort and care can make a big difference. The nature of Northeast Scotland is a unique and precious asset that we can all enjoy and learn from. From mountain to sea, love it and live it.